So you're wanting to set financial goals for the new year. Well, I have a few ideas that I think you're going to want to stick around for. This is the Income Series. I'm Brian Clark, and this is my channel, The Income Series. Now, before we get started, this video is just for entertainment. I'm not a financial advisor, and it's best that you speak with a professional. The first goal is to create one new stream of income over this next year. Let's discuss some different types of incomes and what I plan on doing this next year to accomplish this goal. Of course, there's always salaries and wages. This is the most common way that people get paid, and it can provide a reliable stream of income that can help you build wealth over the long term. The next that you're probably familiar with is stock investing, where you make money with stock growth or dividend payouts. Another one that you're almost certainly familiar with is rental income, where you own and rent properties. Another type of income is a service-based income. Maybe you pick up a side hustle of detailing cars or cleaning houses. And lastly, one of my favorite types of income is affiliate income. Now, affiliate income is great because it's one of the few ways that money can be earned passively. I like to work largely off of affiliate and commission-based income from multiple websites. Over last year, I had a team of writers and web developers build about 85 new websites. I'm going to spend a good portion this year trying to rank those websites and then earn commission off of jobs that I send to different business owners. That's just one avenue that I personally use to build new revenue streams. Other revenue streams that I do is I provide continuing education for medical providers through website that I built and courses that I created. And while it does require some management between SEO, improving user experience, and updating content, much of it is actually passive income. But I want you to think about the one new income stream that you plan on implementing this year and comment and tell us what it is down below. Honestly, it doesn't have to create life-changing money, but just getting in the habit of creating new streams of revenue is something that you can scale over time. The second goal for the new year that you should consider is putting away your savings first and adding it into an investment portfolio right at the beginning of every single month. That's something that I really try and do is consistently put a similar amount of money into my investment portfolio every single month and grow it over time. Now this really comes down to routine. Much of this can be automated, but it does take a conscious effort. I do want you guys to set a reminder on your Google Calendar to move this money into your investment portfolio and get it invested. Make this a habit now so you can reap the benefits of compound interest. Since the stock market tends to rise over time and you're investing periodically and consistently, it makes your entry point much less important. Whether you start investing at the peak of a market before a crash or you start investing right up at, after the end of the crash, if you're incrementally investing, it won't make much of a difference over the long term of your investment. Now, the third goal idea is similar to the second goal. It's about dollar cost averaging into your investments. So if you find a stock that you like, rather than buying the full quantity of that stock that you want in one specific time, it's better to buy that stock in increments over an extended period of time until you're fully invested. As an example, say that you want to invest $5,000 into Tesla. Well, what you do is you buy the stock in increments, say $1,000 a piece every couple of weeks until you're fully invested with the $5,000. Now, what I like about dollar cost averaging is yes, it does help reduce risk, but it also helps create a mindset of eliminating FOMO as you move into new securities. Those who try to get rich quick in the stock market usually fail. It's unlikely to be different for me or any of you. It's very difficult to outsmart the market. So for myself, I'm looking for long-term gains, compound interest, and minimizing risk as much as possible. And this goes into the fourth idea I have for a goal, and that's to maintain a well-diversified portfolio. I have a portfolio of about 40 to 50 different stocks. I try to keep this pretty balanced out between sectors and industries, essentially avoiding being invested more than 20% in any given sector. Now, this does require quite a bit of time to manage the size of a portfolio. If you work a job, you don't have this type of time. Something that you could consider is investing in an ETF that follows the S&P 500. Now, historically, the S&P 500 has actually done better than most managed funds. So there's plenty of investors that buy into ETFs that closely mimic the S&P 500. The three most common of these being SPY, IVV, and VOO. Now, all three of these ETFs are very similar. There are some slight differences, so I might make a video that discusses these slight differences because these are some of the most popular ETFs out there. And my fifth idea for financial goal this new year is to choose a debt and pay it off completely. 
Now try and pick a debt that's reachable, whether it's one credit card or one student loan out of the many student loans, and focus on eliminating that one debt. If you have the focus of eliminating one specific debt, it's going to be much easier to sacrifice luxuries in the process of you actually paying it off. Maybe you'll have to forego going on a vacation or eating out with your friends as often at restaurants. But it'll be much easier to do if you're reaching for an attainable goal. I remember when I paid off my student loans, I literally felt like I had just retired. I had no financial obligations to anybody after that. And I'd really like to see each of you get to that point as well. I'd really love to hear how each of you personalized these goals in the comment section down below. If you haven't yet, click subscribe. Look at it. Click it. You guys have a good day.